Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Very happy that you are here. Today's topic is, it's time to upgrade your environment, your surroundings, your environment. So first, let's define what your environment is, what your surroundings are. So the first thing you probably think about is your home. Your immediate home, where you sleep, your bedroom, your living room, your kitchen, your living space. So this is your surroundings, your environment. It's also your workplace. It's the environment in which you work in, the place where you go to do your job. Uh, it's also your car. It's your surroundings, it's your environment. Your surroundings, your environment are also the people that you interact with in your life. What kind of relationships or people do you interact with? Your surroundings in your environments are much more than your physical environment. But I make this video to invite you to upgrade your immediate space, your living space, your environment, and we're gonna talk about how these things impact you on both a conscious and subconscious level and both energetically and spiritually, mentally, emotionally, all these things, right? And along with your surroundings and your environment, we are gonna take it a, a little bit deeper and take not only your environment, your physical surroundings, but your inner environment, your inner surroundings, which includes consumption. What are you consuming? Not just the food and the drink that you choose to put into your body, but also the social media that you watch, the books that you read, the music that you listen to. This is consumption. This is your inner environment and what you take in and how it affects you. And you know this already that your environment, your surroundings impact you in a big way. You've been in someone's house, a stranger, someone you know, whatever, where you've gone in and you've been like, man, it's a little... It's a little grimy in here, I ain't gonna lie. It's a little, a little bit, you know, clean up a little bit around here, it's a little weird. And then you've walked into a home and you're like, wow, this is a beautiful home. Super clean and bright, it's refreshing. It's like, you know, has such a warm and positive energy. Even the layout of it, it's just super sexy and comforting and you're like, yeah, okay, this is nice. This place is nicer than I live in. This is an elevated space. That's what we're gonna talk about to start upgrade your immediate physical environment and space. Your environment, it matters so much, especially since you're watching this, you are probably a highly sensitive person, you're an empath, you're a light worker, you're a star seat. So being sensitive to energies of other people, places and things, it would make sense that you really want to have your own immediate space, your room where you sleep, your bed, your sheets, your uh, bathroom, your living room, your kitchen, all at a high vibrational state. I mean, because that's where you live, right? So you want that, and that is also in your control. So you want that immediate space to be elevated. And we'll talk about how to take this into like deeper levels, right? So if you're around, you know this, if you're around low vibe people, places and things consistently, it will affect you. So for instance, my uh, sister, she works, she's a bartender out in San Antonio. And uh, we're both in the industry, right? I think I've shared a couple of times. I work at uh, like a, a fine dining restaurant and she, she works the opposite. She prefers to work in a dive bar and she loves it and has built a great life for herself out there. But that environment matters and she'll always tell me these stories and I'm like, and I'm just thinking to myself, you know, I don't judge her. I'm like, you know, she's my sister, but I'm like, dude, you're attracting these situations and these people because the environment you are in fosters and invites that type of vibration in. Right, and we've talked about it a little bit, but it's very different, again, when you go into a place, especially if you work in like a toxic environment, you go there day after day and your boss is unfortunately one of those like controlling, insecure, power tripping people who just kind of really disrespects everyone and, and mistreats everyone, that wears on you. That is like the worst situation. So that's another sign of confirmation for this video for you, if this is you to upgrade your environment, to upgrade your space, to upgrade your job, to step outside of the comfort of the paycheck and the money you're currently earning and pursue different opportunities because that toxic environment is doing way more harm than it is good even though you get paid well on the job that you're at. This is your sign and confirmation to either start 
building a business on the side to work for yourself or look for a different job and environment that is more positive. Even if it pays less, but it's a better environment with better people, I guarantee you're gonna end up making more money and who cares about money as long as you're making enough that you'll be even happier and more fulfilling in the end because it's much better to be in a positive environment with positive people than it is with negative people in the negative environment. I'm sure we can agree on that. And again, if you're a highly sensitive person, you probably are, you're watching this, you're an empath, you're a starseed, you're a light worker, you're someone who carries a high vibration and energetic signature, this is more important for you than it is for you know people who are not in past or who are not awakened yet, right? You've got to do this for yourself. So let's start here. The first thing that comes to mind on how you can upgrade your space is you know this already, start with where you live, with your house, with your apartment you know, just basics, like super clean, you know, when's the last time you bought new bed sheets and pillows and, you know, or when's the last time you bought like a new plant for your house or a new rug, or when's the last time you rearranged the space? When's you, when's the last time you, you saged and opened up the windows and let the air and the energy flow through? So these are a few simple things you can do to upgrade your immediate space. You don't even have to spend money. Literally just do a deep clean and reorganize some furniture. It's a whole different vibe. It's a whole different uh, energy in there and just this shift alone man you know how good it feels we've all been there where you spent time doing a deep clean on your on your house your apartment how good does it feel when you get done or like the next day you wake up or you come home or like if you're gonna go on a vacation you clean up your your house and it's spotless and then you come home to a nice beautiful house uh, clean house clean space after vacation. It feels so good. So do you not have to spend any money just rearrange some things and you can even go and spend 30 40 bucks on a house plant Do a deep clean move some furniture around get a house plant Do something like that. I guarantee it will shift your entire environment and it will upgrade your surroundings This will play such a deep role on your subconscious and conscious level because what you're telling yourself is you're signaling to your subconscious mind that this is the type of energy I want to be in I want to be in a more positive, high vibrational, clean, energetic environment and state. This is what I deserve. This is what I am creating for myself. And it will signal to your subconscious mind that, oh, dang, this is nice. We could get used to this. You should get used to that and more. This is how we upgrade ourselves. It starts with our surroundings. And these are a few ways you upgrade your basic surroundings. So also I put down the note, like clean your car, right? When's the last time you went and got like a full detail on your car you just clean the outside or even just gave it a nice vacuum, put a new air freshener and make sure there's nothing on the inside, clear energetic space. The, you've been in someone's house where you know, you know, they be holding on to stuff and you're like, man, you haven't used or done anything with this stuff in like 10, 20 years. It's just taking up space. You're just one of those, you're kind of like hoarding you're hoarding it. So the point I'm making is that clutter, the clutter has clutter energetically. That's old stagnant energy. If it's like a family heirloom or a piece or something like that, yeah, of course. I mean, you're gonna hold on to that. But if it's just all this clutter and crap, and we've all been there maybe with yourself or people that you know, that clutter clutters you energetically. It's like having it's like driving around always with the dirty windshield and you're trying to create clarity and space in your life to invite new things, but you've got all this old physical clutter, these old clothes you haven't worn forever that you'll probably never wear again. Uh, this stuff you've been hanging on to from the past, from whatever, the old environment, you just don't wanna let go of stuff. If you don't let go of stuff physically, you're not letting go energetically. If you're not letting go energetically or physically, how can something new and better come into your life? And of course, this doesn't mean that you have to let go of things physically in order to create space. It's an inner job. All this is inner transformation. That's what this is about. It's about how your outside world is a reflection of your inner reality, your inner space. So if you live in a dirty, cluttered environment internally, you may be, you might not be, but you may be and most likely are a little cluttered, a little you know, stagnant, a little stuck inside. So sometimes by upgrading our space or clearing our outside environment, it can help clear up this space energetically, internally on the inside. And that's really what we're getting to here. So small tangible changes that affect you deeply on a subconscious and energetic level, cleaning up your space, reorganizing things, Make sure your car's clean and then going outside of your immediate space in your environment, your work environment, right? For some, again, this is a sign and confirmation for you to go for that new job or to start 
working for yourself to start that small business because you've been in a toxic work environment and you go in here and for whatever reason your coworkers hate on you because you're doing a great job and you're just doing your thing and since they have a different mentality and stuff they don't stand out or get as much praise or recognition as you so they get jealous so they have this toxic work environment where they low-key gossip and hate on you or maybe you're around people that just gossip all day and you can't really get away from them but that's just what they like to do even though that's not what you would like to do and it's probably not because you're watching this video but you're still surrounded by it so it still affects you and you're like man these freaking people just be talking about other people all day if they spent half the time worrying about improving their own lives they wouldn't be so jealous and feel the need to talk about other people in order to make themselves feel superior that's what it is hit the like button am i feeling my if i'm speaking truth though i'm you know what i mean did that if that resonated hit the like button let me know leave it down in the comments if you resonate and vibrate understand what i'm saying you know that this is true your environment your surroundings matter so your immediate environment from your bed the place you sleep like think about it go through your own day when you wake up in the morning are you in like clean uh clean refreshing bedroom with open energetic space with the sunlight coming in and you know um uh, you know your bathroom and then your living room and your kitchen what's it like when you go up and you start your day then what's it like when you get in your car these are your immediate physical surroundings that you can improve that will affect you energetically and then going to work what's your work environment like is it a positive uplifting environment with great people that are awesome and that are also working on themselves along with working at, towards the common goal for the company creating an atmosphere in which they want you know you want to grow no we'll switch it up time to elevate your space it's time to elevate your surroundings it's the time to elevate your environment and now if we look at it like this let's think about consumption elevating your space elevating your environment what is this all saying underneath this is about elevating your energy this is about elevating your energy what are you going to have let me ask you this what are you going to have more energy from physically what if you ate lean protein fruits and veggies and did drink water and did that for nothing but seven days or what if you busted a morgan spurlock and supersized me rest in peace and you had nothing but mcdonald's three days uh, uh three times a day for a week energetically physically how are you going to feel at the end of those seven days what is a higher vibration for you well obviously if you're having lean protein and fruits and veggies and a lot of water getting sunlight taking care of yourself you're gonna feel amazing you're gonna lose some pounds that body's gonna tighten up you're gonna feel good everything's gonna feel nice you're just gonna be like clear yeah i feel good so when we talk about upgrading your surroundings and your environment your surroundings and your environment are also parallel with your consumption so physically what are you consuming are you drinking high quality water are you drinking tap water or do you go get nice filtered water because that matters the water quality is huge that, I mean, we are freaking mostly water, so you gotta drink a really high quality water to, in order to really keep that system running high octane, right? It's like a, it's like a car. Are you a Ferrari, or are you like, you know, two hundred fifty thousand? And there's, I'm not banging on anyone's car, man. If that's you, it's all good, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not in some crazy luxury car, and I don't care to be on whatever. But you get my point. If you're driving a Ferrari, you're not going to put unleaded in it. You're not going to put some low quality oil in it. You're going to put some high quality oil in it with super premium gas. That's the same thing as what we put in our bodies. Are you putting in super premium gas? Are you putting really high quality oil? Or are you drinking some, eating some boo-boo stuff, man, that's making that energy level get, ugh, and you just feel crappy and you're low energy and you're depressed and you're sad and you can't think clearly. That's your consumption. That is your environment and your surroundings as well. So you get to upgrade that. This is your sign and confirmation to start improving your diet. Don't go on a diet. I hate diets as a trainer. For nine years, I think diets are stupid because diets say that I'm gonna change the way I eat for a temporary period of time to get a result. That is the worst way to go about it. That's why most people always go back and uh, gain the weight they lost, if not gain even more because they eat in this extreme way for a small period of time. Of course, your body's gonna have a reaction, but they're not building a different lifestyle. So what happens? They just go back to their old lifestyle after they lose the weight and then their body responds, it rebounds, it gets even worse. So change sustainably what you do over the long term. Little changes. How do you want to change the way you eat for the long term that will have a positive impact and is sustainable for the next 10, 20, 30, 40 years of your life plus? That's the way to think about that. So consumption, guys. What are we eating? What are we drinking? And then also, what are we listening to? What are the books we're reading? Um, it sounds silly, but I used to watch, uh, I used to be into horror movies when I was like young and stuff, getting all scared and stuff. 
And now, like, being conscious, being awakened, I'm like, dang, man, horror movies are, like, super toxic. They're, they're literally meant to instill fear into you, and it affects you on a subconscious level where you're injected so deeply and programmed by the subconscious level of fear that that will play out in your reality in different ways. I won't go too deep into that into this in this video, but it's all about your subconscious mind, and that's really what we're talking about here, though by upgrading and elevating your outside surroundings, it plays a deep role in penetrating your subconscious mind, which is what we create our reality with. So, as above, so below, as uh, within, so without. So, you know what I mean? It's your outer world is a reflection of your inner environment. So when you change your outer world with the things that you're able to change, it can affect your inner environment and vice versa. As you elevate your inner environment, you will automatically want to or start seeing changes in your outer environment. This is about upgrade. This is about transformation. This is how we're changing. This is how we're growing, guys. So create an elevated space and surroundings that support the upgrade that you're going through or creating in your life. I do this all the time, uh, not as often as I should actually, reminder for me as well, but what I always like to do is imagine the best version of yourself. So imagine that version of yourself that is making the money that you want, who's working for yourself, creating an impact, having a positive impact on the lives of other people. That version of you that's super fit and you go out in your bikini and you're like, damn, I look good. And you take your shirt off the beach and like, dang, man, I'm looking, I'm looking right. You know, so Imagine that version of you who's living the life that you desire. What is his or her space like? Do they wake up in some old crunchy yellow pillow bed sheets and got floors all, uh, clothes all over the ground and walk into a dirty kitchen with all this crap? You know, is that what the best version of you does? It might be. I'm not knocking it if it is. I'm just asking you to embody or envision what that best version of you looks like and feels like and lives like and this is us manifesting our future this is us shifting into better versions of ourselves on a day-to-day -day basis by imagining it's called future pacing imagining that best version of yourself and as we create these small changes in our everyday lives as we continue to connect with that higher version of ourselves we're slowly moving into that future we're slowly creating that future we're attracting the right opportunities the right people the chance meetings the synchronicities the places all of these things that are creating and drawing us toward a better life what we have envisioned for ourselves so upgrade your surroundings upgrade your environment get in tune energetically you're already in tune energetically i guarantee it. that's why you're watching this and this is your sign of confirmation to take it up a whole nother level. What does it, what is it like when you walk into a five, six million dollar house by the beach? I'm sure you maybe you've been in one of those. It's crazy. You're like, oh yeah. Or even someone again, think about that person in your mind. Maybe you knew them, maybe you didn't. Where you walked into their house and you were like, oh yeah, this is, this is next level. That's also you. You would love to live there too. So what version of you lives in that house? little changes progression growing this is how we're doing it together guys so the quote i'll leave with you today i got two of them the first one uh orison sweat martin is her name i believe it's her name it might be he he i need to start looking through these people up but i like like what they have to say so he or she says your outlook upon life your estimate of yourself your estimate of your value are largely colored by your environment your whole career will be modified, shaped, molded by your surroundings, by the character of people with whom you come in contact with every day. All the people you're around, the work environment, your immediate home space, the environment, the surroundings, the energy you're surrounding yourself is having a profound impact on who you are today and who you're choosing to be in the future. Because who you are choosing to be today is who you are in the future. Are you doing the same thing? If you're doing the same thing, you're gonna be the same person, you're gonna have the same things. Or are you on an upward trajectory, making small changes, slowly growing into a better version of yourself? The other quote I'll give you, and I'm sure you've heard this before, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So if you want to be a, an online business owner making 20, 30, 40 grand a year, or up to a month, not a year, man, that wouldn't be good you know, making multiple five figures a month, how many other independent business owners are you around that make that type of money? And are they making it online? Do they have a storefront? In other words, 
who are you surrounding yourself with because that's who you're becoming. If you're hanging out with five other millionaires, you're about to be the sixth. If you're hanging out with five other people who just cry and complain about life, even if you're a positive person, you're going to start being affected by that. Not that I doubt at this point, I mean, you watching this video, I doubt that would ever be you, but it can, it's going to affect you because you're raising your, you're elevating and you're around these people who, who are just gossiping and complaining. So you're, who are you around? Who are you surrounding yourself with? You want to be in shape. Are you surrounding yourself with people who don't work out and eat nothing but junk food and don't care, care about themselves? that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing, a knock on them, right? That's their own choice to be like that. And that's all good. But if you're trying to be in shape, don't you want to be around people who are also in shape? That's going to support you in being a better version of yourself physically. So that's what I got for you guys to, uh, today. Please upgrade your surroundings, upgrade your environment. You are deserving and worthy of having everything that you desire. That's what we're here for and you are awakened, you are chosen, you're breaking through traumas, you're breaking through pain and from your family lineage, you are here to shine brightly as an example and a big part of that is being at a higher vibration. The higher at a vibration you are energetically, the better you're treating yourself, the nicer your surroundings and environment are, the better and more deep of an impact you're going to have on those that's what we're here for as light workers. We are the lighthouses shining by example. So take care of your outer surroundings to, as well as your inner surroundings, your consumption. This is you leading by example. Love you guys so much. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.